Now I'm going to do something else that you can do with a raw onion, and that is make a onion syrup. And to make the onion syrup, we chop up onion, and you layer it with honey. So you do... Um, A little bit you do about a centimetre of onion and then you do about a teaspoon of honey over the onion. I'm doing this one early in our demo because by the end of the meeting you will see a syrup form. Now usually you keep the your onion in the in the syrup for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you can strain it. And it will keep in the fridge that onion syrup indefinitely. Now, the sky's the limit as to what you can do with this. You can um, add ginger, add a bit of garlic if you like. Mostly, I just do the onions. And right now, I'm experiencing a little bit of a tingling in my eyes. And that actually, in itself, shows you the effect that onion has on the respiratory. It has the effect to actually cut your breathing. So, if you've got a cold, cut up an onion and breathe in deep. Another layer of, of um, onion there, and then another spoonful of honey. I do this a bit when I'm cooking too. I, I just measure it. I mean, I don't measure it, I guess. So it's, it's whatever. So we've got another layer of onion there, and we'll do another um, spoonful of honey. It's not thick and sticky, it's quite clear and runny, almost like water. I was asked the question in a meeting, how long does this onion syrup last? And my answer was, I don't know, because it doesn't last long with my children. The lady in the meeting one day that I was giving, she was a German lady, and she said, I've had a jar in my fridge for eight years. Because, as we know, honey doesn't go off. So that's filled my jar. Basically, if we had a huge jar, we put more in. And you might like to just turn it up for a little bit so that the honey all falls down for a few minutes, and then I'll turn it upright. And by the end of the meeting, you'll see the clear liquid and we'll bring it tomorrow and you can all have a taste. I have made this syrup with raw honey that was solid. You can still do that because within an hour or two your, your syrup is starting to form. So what's the dosage? For an adult, they could have a teaspoon three times a day. For a child, you might give half a teaspoon three times a day. For a little baby, you might give just a few drops, so just depending on the age. If um, a child had a bad cough of an evening, if a child or anyone has a bad cough, they will find that if they don't eat an evening meal, they won't cough as much in the night. So not to eat an evening meal, um, it is best to have, you know, the main meal in the middle of the day, but 
I used to, uh, with my children, if they had a cold, they would eat very lightly, just soup, soup, that's, that's all that's necessary. And a lot of children, they would stop eating. People say to me, my child's not eating. I say, good. That's really good. Because I've heard to go very lightly for a couple of days. So that's what you can do with onion. You can make an onion syrup. Um, 